Hey everyone, this week we are going to talk about audio because we have all turned on a podcast that we've wanted to listen to and yet we couldn't because either it was super muffled or the sound quality was just terrible and all crackly or Let's dive into something else here. There's so many times where you have to crank it up on the stereo, so then you hit a podcast that actually has the right levels, and it blows you into the back seat. We are going to talk about audio and how to make sure you get the right audio for your podcast. Stay tuned. This is going to be a fun one. Hey everyone, I am Josh with Pedal Stomper Productions. Thank you for tuning in this week. This week, I am recording in the Barberton studio, as you can see looking around me here. This is the studio that we have, beautiful downtown Barberton, inside of the White Rabbit Art Gallery. If you've never been here and you're in the area, by all means, come on down, check it out, let us know ahead of time. We can even give you a tour here. This week, we are diving into audio because as I said in the intro, we've all been there. There's something where you're like, oh, this looks interesting. I really want to listen to this. And you hit play and you are slapped in the ears with absolute garbage. And that, it, it's just, it, it's terrible because you get excited. They, the podcaster themselves has gotten you to to the goal. They've gotten you to click on the link to listen to the podcast. You're there. You're interested. You want to listen. And suddenly, like I said, a hot bag of garbage slaps you in both eardrums, at which point you're like, that's it. I'm out. I'm shutting this down. What are some of the causes of that? Why that matters and why people are turned off by that so quickly? Those are some of the things that we're going to cover this week. So, And we're also going to make sure that we cover some practical tips for you in order to make sure that if you're doing a podcast, be it here in our studios or on your own, that you're able to avoid some of these pitfalls. So first off, let's talk about why audio quality matters. I mean, because this is huge. I've said this, and this is not my own saying. People will forgive bad video in a lot of cases, a little bit shaky camera work, transitions are too weird, anything like that. People will forgive that in a lot of cases. But if it sounds like trash, people are out. And so, I mean, that's really just a bad thing to have happen. First impressions count. Because you've done the thing to get people to the podcast, and you're thinking, great, I've got them. This is your first impression for people, especially if you're a business that is doing a podcast to support your product, support your company, or, or, or just to build that content that we always talk about. This is that first impression. This is the impression that people are going to have of your business. A quote that I have here is, audio quality is like a handshake for your podcast. And yes, that's very much it. If you slap someone a dead fish, they're going to be like, mm, I'm not sure that this is something that I'd like to continue with. Poor sound quality will instantly turn listeners away. I mean, As soon as you click on it, you know this is a hot mess. No, thank you. The other big part of that, it's professionalism and trust. As I mentioned, if you do this as part of your business, as you do this to build content or support your business, is that what you want representing your business is garbage can audio? No, it definitely isn't. You want great audio. You want your audio and your video, but your audio especially to match the quality of your business. For sure, that crisp audio, that's going to convey professionalism. That's going to say, look, we do this. We carry this the whole way through. That's what you want. That's how you want your business to be portrayed, right? In that, if you've got that crisp audio, people can understand. You're able to speak clearly. They're able to hear you well. That is what's going to work to build that trust between you and your listeners or you and your prospective clients. This is all a big deal. That's working on that trust. Something else that not everyone thinks about, it's accessibility and inclusivity. I mean, we want to make sure that we've got good enough quality that 
anyone can listen to this, even someone that may not have perfect hearing. We want something that's crystal clear. So that way, everyone can listen to this and hear this. The other big thing too, you guys know I love stories. Stories is what this is all about. It's telling that story. It's, it's communicating that story. And if people can't hear it, they're not going to listen to that story. And you're not going to be able to get your story out there and across. That's a big, big thing. So let's, let, let's give a quick recap here. This is your first impression. Make it count. This will help build that professionalism and trust. And it's going to do that for everyone because now as many people as possible are going to be able to tune in and hear what you're accurately saying. On top of that, you're able to tell that story. If it's bad audio, people won't be able to hear that inflection in your voice or how you change or anything like that. So let's talk about some common audio pitfalls. The first one being, and everyone's had to deal with this at some point in time, is unwanted outside noise. I've talked with a number of podcasters that do stuff from home and stuff like that, where we edit the video and, and photo or the video and audio for them. And in so many cases, I hear people say, yes, I live in this wonderful, quiet suburb that as soon as I push record turns into a racetrack or they start jackhammering in the street, and it could be a Sunday evening, whatever it is, <laughs> we've all had to deal with some form of unwanted noise. And it could be anywhere from background noise to, like I said, a jackhammer out in the street. One of the ways that you can help prevent that is A, basements are usually a good place to record in terms of helping to eliminate outside noise. That can be a big help, especially if there's an internal room in a basement. Oh, that is golden. Now, we need to sound dead in that, but we'll get that into a second. Bathrooms and closets are often also good place for shielding yourself from outside noise, especially closets. Closets are usually interior rooms. There's no windows to them. They usually don't have a wall that's on the outside. So there's four walls in a closet and there's four walls around that closet. You've got pretty good sound insulation there. Plus, if you have some clothes in there, guess what? You've got that now too. Suggest turning the light on just to make sure though. <laughs> the other thing that we're going to talk about in terms of Getting good audio is improper recording techniques. Mic placement, that's a big one. If you notice, I am, this is, if you see this on video, this thing's right up in my face. There's the old adage, treat the microphone like an ice cream cone. You hold that thing right up by your face. There's a number of really good reasons for that. First off, when you do that, the microphone doesn't need to be cranked up as high. So it's going to, you're really loud for that microphone. So it is going to be able to get your voice and block out some of those more distant noises because of that. The other part is of that is too, is you get the proximity effect is what that's called. And that is the proximity effect is partial in the gain. But the other thing is, is lower end frequencies have a tendency to die the further they have to go. So the further away from my mouth that this microphone is, my voice, it doesn't sound louder or sound higher, but you lose some of those lower end frequencies. When you lose those, you lose that depth to the voice. And that's part of the reason why I sound the way I do is, like I said, I am right up here on the microphone. You can see it if you're watching the video here. The other thing that we're going to talk about is post-production blunders. It happens all the time. People put compression artifacts in because they compress it too much. Um, they'll over edit things or they will put the EQ on in a wrong spot. They want to bring up some low end. So what do they do? They crank that low end up and all of a sudden it starts to sound weird. And they're like, well, wait a minute. It sounded okay a few minutes ago. Audio editing is all about subtlety. A few tweaks here and there make huge, huge differences. If you've got to slide a knob or take and change something all over the place, that is not going to give you good results. You want to be able to make just subtle changes here. 
Now for us being here in the studio, we've eliminated a lot of these quality pitfalls because of the fact that the whole room, the whole space, all the equipment in here has been designed specifically to eliminate some of those items. We've got the high quality equipment here. We've got a room that is sound deadened. I mean, if you look, this curtain behind here helps absorb sound. Elsewhere in the room, we've got all sorts of sound deadening items. In fact, these panels right over here, these are sound deadening also. They help absorb that sound. Sound likes to bounce off of hard surfaces. So we've done our best to eliminate a lot of the hard surfaces in the room. Now, granted, there is a table right here, but if, as long as you limit those hard surfaces, you've created far fewer opportunities to get that bad audio quality. That all being said, we've covered some of the room, we've covered some of the microphone equipment. I'd love to hear what questions you guys have or what things you're facing as you're doing recordings. We offer a service where we will sit down with you and we will go over what your podcast program is, what your equipment is. We will help you dive in to make sure that you are set up for success. As we always say, success is a shared thing, and we would love to share in it with you. Do us a favor. Make sure you subscribe. If you'd like, we are going to be coming out with an email newsletter. I will be putting a link to that, the sign up for that, in the show notes below. Do us a favor. Go there. Sign up for that. We are going to have a lot of great news about podcasting as an industry and some tips and tricks to make your podcast better. I am looking forward to getting that going. I will see you very, very soon.